The wood in this pile is over 500 years old, and they may look weathered and worn, but these old boards are about to get a bright new future. In Annapolis, Maryland, Alan Cady is known for his handcrafted luminarias. But before the luminarias, Alan spent most of his life handcrafting boats. I started working at Trumpy's Boat Yard in Annapolis, which is a very famous yacht yard, building wooden yachts for the rich and famous. And it's there that I first got the bug of working with wood. Does some of that skill, boat building, ship building, does it play into this? Oh, definitely. If you can build a boat, you can build anything. Because a boat doesn't have a straight line in it. It has curves all over the place. So you're constantly thinking about how things go together. So once you acquire those skills, you can build most anything. Alan drifted away from boat building, but never lost that connection to the sea. 12 years ago, he was kayaking in Baltimore and came upon a treasure trove of old wood. The Canton Marine Terminal was built in 1903. It was abandoned back in the 60s, and it was never totally demolished. They took the structure off of it and just left the deck of it, which was built, oddly enough, out of some incredible heart pine lumber, which is some of the finest timber you'll find in North America. And I knew that I wanted to get my hands on some of that. And that's just what he did. After two years of negotiating with local officials, he won the salvage rights and started bringing the wood home. And put it on that flatbed. Put it on trucks and, and had brought it, it home. And brought it home. Yep. And what did your wife say? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I tuned out what she was saying <laughs> at that point of time. The wood looks aged and dull on the outside, but the treasure is the golden heartwood on the inside. So we're going to the sawmill and we're going to see if there's a lamp inside this beam. We use the portable bandsaw mill to cut the heart pine. The luminescence of a lamp is determined by the resin content of the wood. How do you know if it has resin or not? Well, I can tell because if I pick a beam up, one with resin weighs about twice as much. This wood is very, very rare. It's not available anymore. And some of this wood, about every 30 or 40 beams, is so dense in resin that the light will shine through it. The trick is to cut the wood thin enough to pass light, but not so thin that it's brittle. We're going thinner, people. Alan uses a planer to shave the slices down even more. He often makes five or six passes through the planer before he gets it just right. You know what I wish? I wish that all of you at home could smell this. It smells so good. Next, Alan needs to make a frame for the heart pine. He routes slots into pieces of walnut wood. And why don't we use heart pine throughout the whole thing? Well, it looks better with contrasting woods. Yeah. But I've also used mahogany and cherry. What we have are the frame and panel pieces, and these are the hard pine that we just planed down, cut to length. So basically, we take two of the rails, and we're gonna sandwich this, the styles, and the panel between them. These are called styles? Yes, and these okay. are the rails. Fit perfectly and we put in this there. in my little assembly jig like this. Okay. We would glue these together, and then we shim them nice and tight, and then we just let the glue cure, and when it's finished, this is what we're going to have. Ta-da! The top of the luminarias are made from rice paper adhered to clear plastic with shellac. So now we're going to apply some shellac. What Orange. is shellac? What shellac. is that? Shellac it's fun is to say. an extrusion shellac. of the lac beetle. Huh? <laughs> a lac beetle is a bug that burrows into trees and leaves an extrusion on the outside. It's mainly done, I think, in India. And then they take that extrusion and they process it into different kinds of shellac. So this is what we're doing is it's we're putting juice? we're putting bug juice on here. <laughs> While the shellac dries, we oil the wood with a citrus tongue oil combo to make the grain really pop. Then we just have to turn it into a lamp. We have a line cord, mm -hmm. a line switch, an LED bulb, and we have a little light socket. And we just assemble those and that's it. The luminarias cost from three to $500, depending on size. I only have probably 40 beams out there that transmits light like this. So when that's gone, it's gone. Oh, you took that old abandoned wood 
in that pile and you turned it into this and that is brilliant.